Hi, Serious Fierce here, back on another Distance Incremental video, episode 9, and I have reached infinity. The High God Infinity has seen your power and would like to endorse you. So it's been actually a couple weeks since last episode, but I've mostly just been on the screen for over 95% of that time. So yeah, allow Infinity to endorse you. So I'm guessing that means, yeah, I unlock a whole new mechanic. Um, I have, so it's infinity, I have one endorsement, which gives me a base knowledge gain of two, reach five E341 universes to be endorsed again, and there's knowledge upgrades, it says ranks and tiers boost time speed, and I, I don't think, I, I, it doesn't look like that knowledge does anything else other than these upgrades, so... Yeah, I guess I'm just going to um, redo everything I had before. I can already gain a ton of rockets, like E5. I can probably get all the time reversal upgrades as well. Yeah, this is just this is just like very fast. I can already gain Cadavers. I, th I think, wow, Infinity is the fifth prestige layer in this game. This is crazy. Five prestige layers? I can't believe that's, like, it, that's even real. Five prestige layers. And... Like, I'm not even cl that close to the end. If, if I check achievements, I think they added more achievements since last time I was here. So now there's 17 rows of achievements. I think I remember there being, like, 15 before. So, yeah. Now, I think I also get this and get endorsed by Infinity. And the reward is you keep automation stuff on Infinity. I, I have not gotten this one, which is reach 75 normal rocket fuel. So I guess I can... Uh, th these look like they're all the same. I can't upgrade them. I'm probably just going to gain a bunch of cadavers here because, yeah, it's going to make time go much faster, Just which, which means just everything's going to be better. I'll get all of these upgrades, get a ton of rocket fuel. I'm already up to eight rocket fuel. And then maybe um, here, this is where I'll gain more cadavers, but not before I um, start sacrificing them into life essence so I can get even more cadavers. And, um, I still have to purchase these manually, but it's, I, I doubt that's gonna, <laughs> gonna be a thing for all that long. And then just E10, get 270 cadavers, and it's soft cap, so yay. And then, um, 81 life essence. <laughs> yeah, this is just OP. I can, I now keep all the time reversal upgrades. I, yeah, I barely need to do anything. I, I think at this point, I should just start gaining cadavers. Um, like this, and boom, I have, I have everything here, a million cadavers already, I've already unlocked pathogens, which means I can start, um, yeah, this, this is just OP, like, I, I can't believe, and then I can also get these upgrades, there's, um, knowledge boost rocket gain, and knowledge boosts the rocket effect, um, hmm, I'm not exactly sure what I would prefer, I mean, the thing is that, I, I, I think that um, I'm just going to be gaining these, this knowledge anyway, so maybe rocket gain will be a little better than rocket effect. I have, I have no idea. It prob probably doesn't even make all that much of a difference. And you can just see how quickly I'm gaining pathogens. I'm gaining like 90 pathogens every second. And now even more than that, like 130 pathogens every second. So yeah, you can just see how this is. And once I start getting these upgrades, yeah, it's just, this is just OP. This is completely overpowered. And, um, yeah, E7 cadavers already. I can probably get some life essence so I can just boost everything even more. I can, I can already start getting the, like, thousands of pathogen upgrades. I should, yeah, I should probably start, um, disable, or trying to, um, lower some of these soft caps. Or just get the boost pathogen gain, because that's going to be even better. Allowing me to get like 400 pathogen um, per second. So, let's see if I can do... Yes, I can do something here. This is the knowledge boost, the rocket effect. So, this is 400 knowledge, 3500 knowledge. Um, wow, start with all collapse milestones on reset. I don't think I'm quite there yet, but... Um, yeah, 8000, 8000... 50,000 knowledge. That's the most expensive one. I think I'm just going to keep getting these pathogen upgrades. 
like especially something like this. Um, probably get one more round of these, and in this and this, so I can you know get e eight. I'm, yeah, just keep doing it like this. I can already gain e nine cadavers, e ten cadavers. I, I I feel like yeah, I'm about to unlock the dark circle again. So yeah, again, once I get this soft cap, of course that's gonna um, make things even more overpowered. So let's see. It's a little bit slower now, but it's still of course super fast. I'm not even sure which upgrade I should go for here. I think oh yeah, this one's very bad. So just don't don't get that. Um, it's probably better to get something like this or that, um, and yeah, I'm, I'm now I'm now close to unlocking the dark circle, and I could probably yeah, this is also I'm very powerful. I, I forgot even what the time reversal two upgrade is. Time goes by log n plus one faster, where n is your time cubes, but then this is raised to a um, pretty overpowered power. So here it is, dark circle. I need 11 counters. Uh, I'm almost there. So this will start allowing me to gain dark matter, dark energy, and dark fluid. So I can start, you know, increasing, you know, the flow. So I can I can start gaining um, more rockets and more time cubes and uh, increase or, or like essentially uh, make one of the soft caps start later. So. Yeah, I'm probably going to keep doing this. I should probably get some life essence just because, um, like, yeah, it's only at E7 there. So this should help at least a little bit. And the next mechanic is reach 10 endorsements to unlock Ascension, whatever that is. Let, let's, let's see what rank I'm at. I'm only at 61. I remember I was at, like, 100 before. I mean, there's there's even stats where there's scaling. I think... Thought I remember there being a super scaled. There's also this rank tier rewards. So interesting. I, I I probably not even noticed something like rank 36. Time goes by 50% faster. Well, it's interesting how this is happening every five times, and it's like on the one and the six. So yeah, you can just see. Oh, there's more. Oh, I think. Do I remember having these time cube upgrades? I'm not. I'm not sure if I remember these being actual upgrades. Um, I'm. I'm actually really not sure. I'm probably just. Gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna get more pathogens. Um, this is soft capped because, of course, it is. I should probably get the. Um, this one's pretty cheap. Um, this one's very weak, so I don't need it. I should probably just get more cadavers because I can get like E12, and this will allow me to start getting a bunch of dark cores to increase the dark flow so I can start getting even more stuff and it just continues and continues and continues um, I need I don't even need to reverse time because I think I'm getting it automatically I mean I could reverse time but it's that doesn't even do anything so yeah I should probably I probably am gonna get these which are which I think are pretty powerful I, I could have done the rocket so effects Soft cap starts later. I'm not exactly sure how powerful that is, but whatever. I'm just gonna yeah, I'm just gonna keep getting cadavers. So like maybe all the way up to E14, or at least enough to get a few more dark cores. And maybe maybe a little more life essence as well, because I, I don't have a lot of that. And then yeah. I think I just wanna get this 1.6 E5 or even even this. Not exactly sure what I should be going for right now. I can get this though. Time speed boosts knowledge gain at a reduced rate. It's 50 times. Except that oh, it disables it it, it disables some of the other upgrades. Uh reset. Oh, the force is okay, interesting. So doing an inf resetting infinity upgrades forces an infinity reset. I didn't realize that. I probably should get these. Didn't I really didn't realize that this resets these. I there's nothing in that where it said that. And I'm probably probably oh, actually everything else is not a lot much slower. I was fearing that everything else would be quite a lot slower, but actually it's not. Maybe the cadaver game is a little bit slower. But other than that, I don't 
doesn't feel like it's much slower. I can start getting these upgrades. Like, start with all collapsed milestones on reset. I, um, I don't, I, I'm not even infinity at this point. I'm, I'm just going to keep getting this so I can start. I, I'm, I'm still not sure if I even gotten these upgrades in, in a different episode. But, yeah. And there's also, start with the first two rows of time reversal upgrades on reset. I should probably go for something that actually boosts something, except I can't buy them without getting like this. So, this is 8,000 knowledge. Knowledge and cadavers synergize with each other. That seems, that seems really good. And there's also knowledge and time cubes synergize with each other, except time cubes is even better than, than what I have with cadavers. So I'll, I'll wait for that. It's 8,000, I'm almost there. And then pathogens, probably not, there's only 3,000 pathogens. I don't, I don't know how I didn't get that. It's probably, that upgrade is um, scaled differently because of one of the up, one, one of the other upgrades. Probably should gain maybe, maybe this, this, oops. I, I meant to do this, this, and that, but no, I just got this twice. I don't think that's much of a big deal. I can gain E15 cadavers so I can start increasing the dark circle by a few more levels and gain this, which is going to be overpowered. I, I mean, that means I cannot get the cadaver one, but I think that's okay. Um, I'm going to timber so I can now get this last, um, last one here. Which allows me to gain, yeah, E16, 17 cadavers, um, 11 dark cores, um, and I'm close to this, which is pathogen upgrades are 10% stronger. Um, not exactly sure if I even need that. Let, let's see how many universes I have. E two hundred thirty seven universes. I am I am up to the super scaled ranks. Um, I think I just want to keep gaining pathogens at this point. So maybe like I think I don't need the time cubes. I'd rather get the pathogens. I also want to probably gain some cadavers and lice lice essence life essence. So I can increase the dark circle. The dark circle, it's now starting to really have an effect. E7, as many rockets. E6, as many time cubes. And um, the the scale, the rocket fuel scaling starts much later. So you can see, you just see it's 64 rocket fuel, which is quite quite a bit more than I, I was I was previously getting. So like, or, or I'm I'm not really sure. I want 75. Also, I got this without even noticing. It's reaching 9,000.1 knowledge, so it must be just, it's over 9,000. I should probably look at um, maybe every achievement that's in row eight and nine here. So this is reach three endorsements. The reward is that dark flow is 20% faster. This is have a magnitude above 100 for field bot. I forgot about, about these, I should probably yeah, max all here. It's now down to 40 milliseconds, which is the um, fun fact. That's the like frame rate of my incremental, the unscaled incremental. Um, if you if you want to play that game in the about page of my channel, there's like a link to like the games that I do for YouTube. So yeah, I don't I don't want to go too long with, the, with that plug. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do this. This magnitude is now 65. It's not quite there, but I think it will soon reach that and the reward is that dark flow affects pathogen gain so it's down after 50 times that that may mean that i could be getting 10 times as many pathogens that would be completely op um but yeah that could actually be a thing i should probably get maybe something like this and this and maybe just a couple levels of this because it's just so cheap and that i'm getting 10,000 pathogens every second so yeah also e19 cadavers so this is yeah let's see 13 um dark 13 dark flow or not dark flow dark cores 14 i don't even think i don't think i need 15 yet but i think i'm getting close um this is reach e3 intelligence e1000 universes 2.5 e10 knowledge and 10 endorsements. So none of these have rewards, except this last one, which is buying pathogen upgrades does not spend your pathogens. That's pretty good. 
Um, I think, yeah, I want to get these. Th th these are now pretty cheap. Probably get this and this. Let's see, how many rocket... I'm up to 71 rocket fuel. I'm, al I'm almost there. Like, I'm, get I'm getting really close now. And with E20, I can now get 16 dark cores. And now, of course, they're scaled because everything is scaled in soft caps in this game. Um, maybe we can get another one. Oh, there's another achievement. Uh, that that's the rocket one. I'm um, reached 75 normal rocket fuel. Let's see. I'm up to E326 universes. So I'm past E308, and I'm pretty close to the next endorsement. Um, for whatever reason, I can't get this upgrade, even though it's. Um, oh wait, um, I somehow need both of these. Yeah, I don't have both of them, which is dumb. I mean, these upgrades are work unintuitively, uh, and I sort of don't like that they're just almost randomly repealing each other. Maybe, maybe um, it'll um, make more sense later on, and it'll, it'll actually become a good mechanic. But as of now, it just seems a little bit dumb. Um, anyway, oh, there's the next infinity, as I was trying to get Dark Cores. So, yeah, I think this will be in the next episode, the next run. I, th I think, I, I feel like I want to, um, I'm just gonna do this here. Um, let's see if it does anything. Um, it just increases knowledge gain and this also. I could try to reset infinity upgrades, but that's all for next episode. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Peace out. Mm -hmm.